Hello and welcome to another Ubuntu Cloud screencast. During this screencast, I'm going to show you how easy and fast it is to set up a LAMP development environment using Ubuntu on the EC2 Cloud. LAMP, of course, is Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP or Python. So during this demo, I'm going to be setting up WordPress on a um, demo instance. Um, for that, I'm using this MIID, which is a uh, Ubuntu Server uh, Maverick 1010 updated. It's a daily build, so it may not be available by the time you want to try this later on. I'm going to launch a micro instance using my default key, and I'm going to use um, the CC WordPress file. I'm going to pass that as user data file to the instance. Um, Cloud init, which I have written about earlier and you know demoed about before, consumes this file. This file contains instructions on how to set up WordPress. So Cloud Init consumes this file and installs WordPress as the instance boots. Let's hit enter. Right now an instance is being spawned in the background and the user data file is, um, is being consumed by Cloud Init. So let's take a look on the file um, in the few seconds the instance needs to build itself. The syntax for this file is quite easy. Um, we're basically asking Cloud Init to update the server, that is run apps get update. We're asking it to install the following packages. Since we would like to launch WordPress, we're asking to install WordPress, MySQL, Apache, and some PHP libraries um, and postfix. And then after installing the packages, we actually need to configure them. For that, let me jump over to the end of the file. In order to configure the packages, we run a series of shell snippets, basically, to, to do the configuration for us. Um, so we fix some routing issue. We configure Apache, postfix, MySQL, and then restart Apache. Each one of these snippets has a section um, that we can quickly take a look um, on. So basically the, the, the routing section, we're just assigning the public IP to the interface. For configuring Apache, we're, um, we're getting the public host name and we're configuring a, um, a site called WordPress with the following um, name-based virtual host. Um, then we're enabling a, um, you know, an, a module and enabling the WordPress site. We're also configuring Postfix, which basically sets the host name, the public host name, as my host name and my destination for Postfix. We're configuring MySQL, which uses this, um, this setup script to automatically set up MySQL with the public host name. And then we restart Apache, and you know, if all goes well, we should have WordPress running. It's, it's that easy, really. So that's really all there is to it. Let's flip over to the Amazon console and check out on our instance. Okay, here's the instance running. Um, let's copy the public DNS name. And if all went well, we should have WordPress waiting for us. Oh, what do you know? Um, so WordPress is already waiting for us. Everything has worked out the way uh, it was supposed to. Um, this is really cool. So basically, in a matter of, of a few seconds um, or, or a minute at most, you can set up a development environment for LAP on the EC2 cloud using Ubuntu as uh, your server platform. Um, as a bonus, if you right-click the instance and take a look on the system log, you can you can see you know all the magic being done to the instance, so you can basically you know see um, the Ubuntu image updating itself. Um, you can see um, you can see it installing all of the packages that we asked it to Apache, WordPress, PHP, and all of the dependencies. Um, you can see it, you know downloading, installing, and configuring everything um, till it you know till it reaches. Um, where it actually says, you know, go to go to you know this address to set up WordPress. Um, so everything is automated, everything is out of the box working, and it's it's pretty cool and pretty fast. So I hope this was helpful, and see you in another screencast.